but yeah um i had my hair transplant procedure yesterday it took about six to seven hours it was the most uncomfortable thing it was the worst day of my life i'm not even gonna lie it was just really uncomfortable um the anesthetic anesthesia whatever that is was very very painful i must have had about 25 to 30 injections like in my forehead back of my head all going around here all here i wanted to die there was a point where i was actually like holding back tears a couple of tears did come out actually but um i just hate pain in it but i'm so happy that it's over and today is the day that i fly back to london i've just got to get my dressing changed as you can see i've got like a massive bandage on the back of my head <laughs> and um a bit of fluid has actually been leaking out of it so i'm a bit worried I'm hoping that's normal. I don't want to be told that's not normal because that's not that's not good. But um yeah, so as you can see, um they actually done this side, even though I only needed there, they've done a lot they put a lot of hair on the side that wasn't really bad so that it will grow back a lot thicker because it was quite a thin side. So as you can see they've gone all the way around there, there. Um they've actually done the front of my hair. Um a lot of people have this, so like just from pulling your hair really like tight all the time your hair starts to recede and yeah my hair has receded over the years so yeah I did have a big forehead <laughs> but I knew I had a big forehead my forehead used to be like all these fingers and now it is literally I can't even I can't separate my fingers now it's literally three fingers so it is very small and then this was the side that was really bad so as you can see they've literally implanted thousands of hairs all around there I'm not allowed to touch it um, the growing process is the process that I'm most excited about. It's like I'm starting to feel a lot more comfortable in myself and um, I'm starting to accept that this is what I chose to do and obviously it's a long process but once it's finished I'm going to be over the moon once my hair starts growing back. And um, last night I spent all night on YouTube like researching like all these natural remedies and things I can do to grow my hair when it does start growing. So I am going to start vlogging my hair journey because I would like people to see how it came from this so th <laughs> no there's nothing there yet but yeah to this <laughs> and um yeah it was it's been a really crazy draining scary um procedure yesterday i was so nervous i actually uh, i actually asked for something to calm me down so they gave me a xanax <clears throat> and um, i'm not gonna lie that xanax chilled me the f out because <laughs> When she started like saying, okay, we're gonna put the injections in, I was like, okay. Like I was so calm, like I don't even think I was realizing what was going on, in a good way. But um, those injections, Jesus. I thought injections in the mouth are bad when you get like a filling, no way. Imagine getting an injection in your head and your head is all bone. That was horrible, horrible. And I was in like this bed where you have like a hole. You know like when you get massages, you have a hole and your head's like down like that. So I was like, I was doing the most faces um and then when it was all over oh i was so grateful i was so excited um oh wait i didn't even talk about so the shaving of my hair oh, i've got a video of it as well i'm actually gonna put the video up or just clips of it because it's quite long um when the shaver hit my head i was smiling in the video so i was like smiling i'm happy but i'm not happy because do you know how many times in life like I've always thought, oh, I'd love to do a, hair sh a short haircut. And then I think, no way, like, I ain't cutting my hair. And then now I've had to shave. Not even cut. Shave my hair. I don't even know if this is level one. Like, <laughs> my hair is completely shaved. Like, I feel like a man. But I think I would be a buff man if my head weren't swollen like this. But, um, yeah, so getting my hair shaved was a massive step. 
But I'm just thinking of the positives. I know it's going to grow back and it's going to be so banging. The growing will take about five to six months for me to start actually seeing like, not growth here, this will start growing in like a few months. But this sort of part here, the transplanted part, I will start seeing the growth um, in about five to six months. So come summer, let's say maybe like June, July, June, July, August, you're going to see me like eh. um i can't cover my hair until five days later and when i can cover it i can put on like loose bandanas and stuff i've got um some tablets to take some antibiotics and two other tablets a painkiller and something else i actually took a painkiller last night because um as the uh anesthetic anesthesia i don't know what it is is it anesthetic or anesthesia or anesthesia <laughs> i'm joking that's um that disney film but yeah it started to wear off and when it was wearing off, it's like my forehead was... Even now, if I press here, I could tell that there's fluid in it because it feels very, like, bubbly. But it's like my forehead felt very, like, sore last night. And I didn't even talk about the procedure. Sorry, so before I go. Um, the procedure consisted of me getting my hair shaved at the back first, just like a little square, I think. And then I was uh, on the bed, face down in the little circle. My face was in, like, the little circle. I don't exactly know what they were doing, but they put like a few injections in, so maybe about five to ten injections to numb that that little circle, and then a drill, some sort of drill-like thing was on my head. It felt horrible. I couldn't feel it, but I could feel the sensation of the pressure and just imagine someone drilling on your head like it was just horrible, like because I could feel my skull vibrating and I could hear the sound going all the way through my head, penetrating my head through my ears, and it was horrible. But Whatever they done, they took out loads of follicles, um, like hundreds, maybe thousands of follicles, and then they wrapped them in like these bloody cottons, and then they showed it to me, and I was just thinking, ew, like, it was like loads of follicles, <laughs> and then I went for a quick lunch, um, after the lunch, the lunch was actually quite nice actually, so after the lunch they called me back in the room, and then that's where they said, okay, so we're going to shave your hair now. And I was just thinking, oh my God, like I looked in the mirror, I saw my hair, the hair that I had literally been growing all my life. Well, most of my life, because my mum did cut my hair when I was younger. But um, yeah, so she shaved the hair off. I will upload the video. And then when she shaved the hair off, I had to lay on my back. And then that is where the worst part came, where the girl started to inject from literally here, all in here, all around here, here was so painful. So like every part, there was different women. So then the woman that done that then stepped out and then another woman came in and she lined up. Oh, the lighting's going a bit weird. Oh, the lighting's going a bit weird. Can we get you back? Yeah. So then, oh, I might just have to hold it here. And then she actually lined up um, where it was going to go around. And she said to me, do you want me to bring your forehead? I was like, yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, bitch. I've lived with a long ass forehead my whole life. So yeah, why not? bring it forward so it looks so forward I'm not used to it I'm thinking like this is bare weird but when the hair grows it's gonna be mad <laughs> anyways and then she drew around here by the way this is all my normal um hairline around here it's not been brought forward it's only this part that has been so anyway she brought it all around here and um drawed it on then another woman came in and she, that's when she started putting the follicles in they put me on a drip and yeah, they just started to implant follicles, as you can see. It looks very scabby. In a month's time, all of this will fall out and I'm going to be completely bald. And then it's going to grow back. Beautiful. Um, I hope this video, like, could inspire, motivate. And maybe some of you out there are looking to get a hair transplant and you want to know how it is. So I would say it's the best thing I've ever done in my life because it's definitely cured one insecurity that I had. I don't really have any other. The other is just me going to gym and eating healthy and getting rid of this fat ass stomach I have. But that can all be done naturally. But um, this is the best thing I've done in my life. And it came to a point where I had run out of options. I tried everything, castor oil, um, just any product, anything, anything related to hair growth. But yeah, this is me signing out. This is day one after my procedure with my bandage ass head. And my head is so swollen, guys. This is not what I look like. But yeah, let me just do a one-two pose. <laughs> Bye.